Hey, welcome! In this short lesson, I'd like to show you how LumaMat works. Perhaps, I hope, you already know what matting is, how track mats work, but you are not sure how LumaMat is working. Okay, let me show an example. I have a logo here. This is just a box with a text and I have pre-composed it. Now I will select a circle. I make a circle like that. I have the circle. I'll open the ellipse, the ellipse pad, and I'll work with its size. At first it can be like that, but going forward it should cover oh, the entire screen. I will use my shift key to make it quicker, bigger. Okay, so we have an animation like that. So we have this Lumumat reveal. I will take the example logo now. I'll press F4 or this middle button here and on the track mat options I'll select Luma Matte Reveal. What's happening now? Until this comes online, we don't see anything. But why is it so dark? What's happening here? This is because, let me explain, the Luma Matte options take into consideration the brightness of this layer. Since this layer is very dark, we barely see anything. If this layer would be white, we would see the entire logo. You get where this is going. So the problem is I have the, the stroke here. I shouldn't have any stroke, no stroke, and I should only work with the fill. And it's easiest to work with white and black colors. Yes, I can work with red colors, but I'm not sure how much of brightness and how much of darkness a red color has. That's why it's better to work with those colors where you exactly see the opacity. Black is 100% invisible, white is 100% visible. Okay, so you could make a simple animation like that. Boom, then you could duplicate it. You should also duplicate the logo. Press that forward and make the second Luma mat, for example, completely white. So you would have in result an animation like that. Boom, boom. Very, very simple, only using the Luma mat and this is one example usage if you don't always want to use track mats. Track mats work a bit differently, but this is a topic for another tutorial. I hope this quick tip is helping you and if you'd like to become an After Effects Ninja, you have my premium After Effects course or just watch other tutorials from this channel. It's all for you, these are short and crispy tutorials to really have fun and work with something in After Effects. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in other ones like that.